Hey, if you're looking to find different ways to load your Excel file into MATLAB and then plot those readings, then this is the perfect video for you. The simplest way to import Excel file in MATLAB is just go to this home tab and import data. Click on that, a window will pop up. This is my folder MATLAB 2017B and over here in this folder I have this Excel file diode reading. So I'll just open this Excel file. When I open that Excel file, another window popped up. It is just looks similar to an Excel sheet. Through this popped up screen, we can import the data in MATLAB. So now let's understand what it is. These are the readings of forward and reverse bias characteristics of diode. So over here at the top section, the name of the file is represented diode reading. Now each of the heading that I have provided into Excel sheet, it has been represented over here. Let me show you the Excel sheet first. This is the actual sheet that we have imported. A blank space and VF, IF, VR, IR and all these datas. Now let's jump to the MATLAB. So here all of these are taken as variable name and you can see this variable name over here. And these are the data in that Excel sheet. If you want to update the name of this variable, you can update it from here. Whatever name you want to give, you can update the name from here. Now, by left clicking and dragging, you can select the data range. I have selected the full Excel sheet. So the data range is from A3 to D14. So full data will be imported to MATLAB. Now, import selection. Once you click this area, it will import all the data. Just click it. The following variable were imported. So all these variables were imported to MATLAB. Let me show you that. See over here diode reading 12 cross 4 table variable has been imported to the workspace of MATLAB. Now instead of importing entire table you can select column vectors. So each of the column will be imported as a separate vector data and now you can import the selected VDF, IDF, VDR, IDR. All the variables were imported as a separate column vector. Let me show you that. So here you can see all of this variable has been imported as a separate variable. The difference you can observe over here that entire table has been imported in table format. Whereas each of individual variable has been imported as double format. So here data type is double and here the data type is table. Now let me show you something else. Just click on this view and from here you can select different views. Just select top bottom and over here you will be able to see there are two sheets in the Excel file. It is sheet number one and it is sheet number two. If you want to import sheet number two then again select sheet number two from here. Go to import and column vector. So it is VF, IF, VR, IR and just import these data. Now let's go to MATLAB and now you can see all the data has been imported. If you want to import selected range of data then you can select a fixed range and you can import that much data only. Now we'll close it and go to MATLAB script file. Now here we have all these data. To plot the graph from these data it is very simple. If I want to plot graph of forward bias characteristics of diode I'll just simply write and run. It will ask me to save. Oh, this V is small. Let me make it capital. Now let's run it. So this is how you can simply plot the imported data. If it is not looking nice, then you can add and run again. So the graph is clearly visible. It is one of the method to import the data from Excel.
Now let me show you some other methods. That method was very simple and we are directly importing data from the Excel sheet. Now let me show you some other techniques. Using some command and through some script, you can import the data. For that, let me remove this thing. I'll write. So run this thing so it will clear everything. So first what we'll do, we'll import the data. This is the sheet we are importing. Open the full sheet I want to import. So done. Entire sheet I have imported. So it is in a table format. Now what I'll do, this is in a table format and I'll save as as dot mat file. So diode reading is the name of my file dot mat. So now that dot mat file is over here. Now I will load that dot mat file. So now we'll run this thing. And once we run, this file will be updated as diode reading dot mat file. Now in this diode reading, let us check the name of the variable is VDF and IDF. So what I want to do is I want to load only these two variables VDF and IDF. So let's load these two variables. So once we run these lines, these two VDF and IDF variable will be stored in workspace. Let's run this thing. So this is diode reading table. It is IDF 12 cross 1 and VDF 12 cross 1. And over here you can see both of the variables. Now we just simply plot. And there we go. This is the graph. If you do not want to use this plot command, you can select these two variables from here, go to plot and select plot and directly you can see the graph has been ready. So this is another method to extract variables from your table variable. Now it might be tough for you all that every time you need to load this variable and do all these things. It's being a little bit hassleful and maybe many of you do not like to import this Excel sheet through this tab, right? So for that, there is another method. Now let me implement that method. So to implement that method, I will write a small code to import the data. So now we are going to import entire Excel sheet through commands. First of all, we'll clear all these things. So everything is clear now. Now we are going to import everything through command. We'll give name of the data diode and the command is XLS read. Now into bracket inverted comma, you need to write the name of the file. The name of our file is diode underscore reading. So let's add it. So this is the command XLS read and just run. The entire table has been imported just by writing a small command. We have seen that in that Excel sheet, there were two sheets. Let me show you that. This is our Excel sheet and we have two sheets over here. This is sheet number one where, where we have readings of VDF, IDF, right? And in Excel sheet number two, we have reading of VF, IF, VR, IR. To differentiate, I have multiplied uh, this current reading with 10 so we can have a two different set of readings. So it is sheet number one and sheet number two. Now again, let's get back to the MATLAB. Now, if you want to import a sheet number two, then you just need to write comma two. Just add comma and two, it will import sheet number two. Let's do it. For that, remember that I have multiplied those readings with 10. So you can observe over here, the reading will be different. Let's run this thing and see. The second sheet has been imported. If we change it to one, now remember this reading and run. And you can see the difference. So now sheet number one has been imported. From that sheet, if you want to import particular set of data, that also you can control through this command. 
again get back to that Excel sheet. The data is ranges in between A3 and D14. Now I do not want to import entire table. What I want is I want to import this much of data A3 to B14. So let's import this much of data only. So from sheet number one, A3 to B14. And let's run. I forgot this. And run. So this much of data has been imported. So this is how you can import selected data, multiple data from Excel sheet through only one command. Now let's again import a full table. So let's run and we have imported full table. Now from this table, if you want to extract different variables, then over here you have did it in one manner. Let me show you another method. Here the table is stored in diode. So let's write VDF is equal to diode matrix into bracket. This is the diode matrix, right? Let's open it. This is our diode matrix. So from this row one, I want entire 12 rows. So I'll write gem for entire rows. And I want only column number one. I want all the rows and only column one. So comma one bracket over and let me run this thing. So all the rows but only one column has been imported. The same way if I want to do it for IDF. Now the IDF is in column number two. Now let's observe, run it. So it is VDF and it is IDF. Now simply, now we do not want to observe this. So just suppress it and run. So this is the graph. To make it look appropriate, So this is the graph, how it looks like. Now up to here, we have learned how to import Excel sheet. You can import this Excel sheet only if this Excel sheet diode underscore reading dot XLSX is in current folders. But what if your Excel sheet is somewhere else or somewhere in another folder? So how to import that Excel sheet? So now let me show you that thing. So we'll comment it, we'll write a small script for that. Now let me take you to some another folder where I have kept another Excel sheet. This is my temporary folder on desktop. This is the Excel sheet called reading. I'll open it. It is the same Excel sheet, right? Reading is the same Excel sheet as previous one, but that Excel sheet is in another folder. And the folder is temporary folder and this folder is on desktop. I'll right click it, go to properties and I'll show you this path, location. I'll just copy this location, copy, okay, and go to MATLAB. So first of all, we need to apply a path. So we need to tell MATLAB that where exactly my this Excel sheet is. So for that, we'll write a code path, path comma into inverted comma will paste that entire path bracket over and now we'll write name to the variable diode one and we'll apply the same command in that folder name of our file is reading so let's run diode one data has been imported and if you want to see the change, let me update some data over here. I'll give it one, two, three. And over here, uh, I'll give it as three, eight, 14. Just a random data. Save it. 
let's jump to matlab say this diode one table now let's run it again and this is the updated table this cells were empty so it is represented as nan and after importing this excel sheet through this way or through this way whatever you are comfortable with you can plot whatever type of graph you want to plot now before ending i would like to ask you a small question when you directly load excel file in matlab then what will be the data format your options are this think try to recall and choose your option wisely do not forget to write the answer in comments below if you want to learn anything more on matlab just write that thing in comments below and i'll make video on that topic the link of full playlist on matlab tutorials is on description box check out that and learn so many different things in matlab so until we meet again in our next video till the time bye bye